Welcome back to The Reality Guys. I'm your host, Brian, along with my co-host, Kevin. Hello. Waleed. And Brett. Going on. So we are back to talk the challenge, Rider Dies, episode 10, entitled Dancing on My Own. Um, So we're back to doing these episodes solo now that Survivor's over, Amazing Race is over. Like we can devote a little bit more to the challenge because we're kind of on a lull with our shows. Uh, Before we get started, what did you guys think of this episode as a whole? Just run down the list, whoever wants to go first. I thought it was a great episode. I mean, we finally got the the twist of the, the, the teams being split up. And I thought the daily challenge was like probably one of the best daily challenges I've ever seen. I thought that was a lot of fun to watch and would have been freaking awesome to, to compete in. That's exactly the kind of stuff I want to see is like one-on-one physical challenges. The elimination was a little hit and miss though for me, but at least the daily was freaking awesome. Okay. I couldn't agree more, actually. I, I, I thought it was awesome. You didn't like the elimination either? Um, It probably could have been better, but... uh. The like the daily challenge was like the level that we need. You need that one on one, that strategy where it's like, all right, who's going to go after who mm. here that they haven't touched on in right. a long time. So like, I'm glad that that was brought back a little bit. Hopefully they like realize how. Hopefully they listen to us and realize how good it was and keep doing it. But yeah, I definitely enjoyed it too. But. Um, I just – you really – it was one of those challenges, too, though, where you got to see, like, how lopsided the teams are. Like, I wish it was more competitive because the only one from the other team that ended up winning um, his face-off was, I think, Horacio. Mm-hmm. Was the only one. Everybody else on the other team, on Fessy's team, won. So, I wish it was more competitive, but you really got to see how not evenly matched these teams are. It's a complete mismatch. So, that's the only thing I wish it was. Yeah, yeah it was like, a weird mismatch, but it made sense. I remember being like, oh, you could have went uh, like against Anissa a little bit better, but then at the end it was who was a who was the last girl? I forget who, but Nerissa. Uh, and- yeah. yeah, yeah, it makes sense why she went after. Her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, all the girls got all the girls got smashed. Uh, it looked like they weren't even really trying. Like maybe they just gave up. But the yeah, dudes, like, I mean, yeah, about it. I, I did like the strategy they had with the guys where they put Kenny against Fessy. So they basically just throw away the round against Fessy and put the weak guy in there so that they might have a slight advantage on all the other matchups. I thought that was a really smart strategy. Um, yeah, yeah, bro, the, can we, can we just le- talk about how annoying it is that Fessy gets these like opportunities where it just boosts his ego and he thinks that he is still the strongest man on earth because he goes against the weakest dudes on every team, every – Every well, he went up, he went up against Horacio next, so he still had to at least go against Horacio. Yeah, so made, yeah, so Kevin, an upper body easy. challenge, absolutely, like a, no shit, dude. All right, but is it what like CT versus Fessy and something like this? Right, right. Okay, Fessy, if Fessy would find a way to go against Devin that challenge somehow. Isn't like, it better though, Kev? That like they all like his whole team didn't lose, and then he would have beaten every single person after that. What do you mean? Because you had a life system. So, like, say Horacio was the only one that survived on the yellow team. If he ended up beating everyone, that's a better feat. So, if Fessy was in the same position and he ended up beating everyone, that's a worse position for us because we don't like Fessy. So, yeah, like, yeah, it was yeah, terrible, yeah. but it could have been a lot worse. Like, his ego that's could have been, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. overflowing if, through the roof. Fessy just went in and took every person. Yeah, like, his whole team, like, Johnny yeah. stunk. Um, Like, Nelson, like, messed up. Like, if those guys, like, all kind of had errors and then – that would have been worse. But if I was Kenny, I would have just went right through his for his legs. Just Yo, dove at him. That's a sacrifice. That's what I'm saying. He had no I'm chance. Yeah. Yeah. Stop the shit out of him. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run as fast as I can and just dive straight at their kneecaps and try to like, throw them out. out. That's how you gotta do it, man. That's exactly how I have to do it. I would I would gladly tear an ACL for a million dollars. I wonder if that wasn't legal. Like twice the rules. About it. Like I would <laughs> like to know the rules for that challenge. If you dive at their legs, not only are you probably going to have a good chance of taking them off their feet and put them off the platform, but you're like, you can grab the platform yourself and like make sure that you are like secured to Yeah, or last person touching. Like you can knock them down, but you could be already there falling and you can just, you know, it's kind of like tap the top. Because remember Nelson won like that, right? Because they fell off. Yeah, but I mean, that, yeah, that, that's hard. That's like, that's I mean, like expecting every wide receiver. That's the strategy. Yeah. Whatever. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to risk myself going off the platform if I didn't have to. 
Because, yeah, with the with the Nelson thing, he basically he got into, like, he kind of yeah. sort of pushed Devin, and Devin pulled Nelson with him. So Devin was the first to kind of actually, like, step off of it. And that's how Nelson won. I don't mean that as a strategy. I mean, you just got to keep that in the back of your mind. If you, you dive and you miss or you fall, like, make sure you're tapping. Like, you, you got to keep in mind, like, tap the side or tap the thing if they're falling down. Because, I mean, Fessy would have fallen like a tree, I think. I don't think he would have been able to keep himself up. Yeah, I mean, right. a, yeah, probably doesn't have the best balance anyway, so. Yeah, he's a loser. I don't know if you guys saw his highlight reel, though. He's a D1 tight end, so. I mean, he's not playing in the USFL or whatever's coming back or <laughs> well, any of that stuff. Making his way downtown here. <laughs> but I mean, I mean I, Fancy's always going to have the advantage in these types of challenges, but that doesn't mean I don't want to see them. You know, yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course, because you know, right, right. I would rather, but what we're saying is, I would rather the biggest dude just go, fuck, yeah. But I mean, I I would love to see CT just not, I, I, dude, I would love to see some any, even the smallest guy go up and just swing on his jaw immediately, first fucking thing, just go up and knock him out. But you know, like once the finals and and active, like he know he would fold, so like. Somehow, right. Kenny would have really won that in the not. final. Like, it, you don't need to worry about it yet because he's not going to win anything. So, he's I mean, the same old rough. dude. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like Walid said, like, it, he didn't like that the challenge was kind of um, physical based, but you know, the next one's going to be intelligence and they'll even it up. That's they it, got to do it that way or something like that. Yeah. I just wish I you kind of knew what the challenge was going to be because I kind of feel like sometimes it seems a little fishy because they were talking about, like, oh, well, like ours is. Um, Devin kept saying, like, well, we don't have the physical strength. We don't have the physical strength. And, of course, it's, like, one of the most physical challenges they've had so right. far this season. But I think that's also part of, like, production. Yeah, they, yeah definitely. As soon as that happens, like, all right, let's keep this Yeah, because now we're low let's on – Yeah. We're low on Mariah's team. And then, you, of course, they're probably going to win the next three and something like that, yeah. like, even it out. I hope they do another physical challenge next week, too, just because they're more fun. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. I don't care that Fessy's team is stacked. Yeah. I'm not saying like the, those guys on the other team are like like Devin and uh, Horacio and all of them. Like they're good at physical challenges. Not saying they're not. Um, so maybe it's a physical challenge next time that they might actually have a slight advantage or something. You know? Yeah. It, it, they, got, they got rid of their weakest link, which was which yeah. we get into. But I mean, and it also Jordan kind of if Jordan didn't mess up, I think I'm surprised he lost. Fessy. Yeah, he lost. He could take a fessy. Because he would have gotten low. Mm. He's a wrestler too, isn't? Wasn't he? Who yeah, was he? Was, he was, but he also lost to Chauncey. So, like, how is he going to beat Fessy if he lost to Chauncey? That kind of I mean, shot. It, it might have just been a bad round for him. I think. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's wet up there. I mean, you don't. Yeah, have to, no. yeah I'm not gonna. I think I'm in a best of five, Jordan, you Jordan's been impressive in so many challenges of this show. So, I mean, I don't. I'm not going to hold that against him that he, you know, had a mishap. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think a lot of these people didn't even really grab each other. They all were very yeah, just, just like, pushing their arms slap out. Yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd be interested to see if somebody actually like, like kind of gets on and like wraps someone up and uses a little jujitsu. Well, this stuff. goes like, back to what Rob said. Like, I'd rather I want to hear like the rules. But yeah, I don't. What are the rules? Like, they what are you allowed they to do up there? Do just that. just 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 run full speed and just jump up and do a drop kick. Yeah, something like what? <laughs> what were the rules? Like, could you not leave your feet? Or jump like, over could you... like your Mario going yeah. over. Yeah. A... Turtle. Yeah, and like, because remember when Horacio was playing um, Fessy, like he was pushing him back. Like, what if he pushed him back to the big platform? Yeah, I was wondering that. He's like right there. Like, this is. I mean, if you have that strength to throw him off before that, but well, I, mean, I the, watched this the, elimination of the rules. Twice. It was so good. They didn't say. Well, I thought I missed the rules the first time because I was like, what if you just charge the guy and push him into his? Yeah, area? right. They never specified, but they did say the rules were to knock your person off the the bridge. So. Right. What if you knocked yeah, off the, yeah. the players waiting in the background as you pushed them? It's <laughs> like the guy dead. from blindside throwing that dude over the fence. Yeah, they're dead. Um, so we need to <laughs> kind of talk about what this the name of this challenge was. It was like based off Puss in Boots. They promoted that like a lot more. Like what, what's his name? Antonio Banderas? Is he the guy? Yeah. Um he's attractive. I mean sh- what? Stuff. He's attractive and stuff for an old guy, apparently. Sure, but um, I think like two or three people uh, were talking about how hot Horatio was this episode too. Yeah, they, were. they were. They <laughs> were. <laughs> yeah. Um, the the just like what I was saying is the promo pushing of Puss in Boots, 
Like, I don't need it. Um, a lot of shows seem to be doing this stuff. They do that, like, even on the um, All-Stars. They were pushing Top Gun one time, and it's just, like... Well, Top Gun was at least freaking awesome. Yeah, right. At least, like, they kind of did a challenge. Like, this one had nothing to do with the cat and, bo and boots, so... They just, they were, it was a stretch here. I mean, isn't their own, doesn't Nickelodeon, they're partnered with Viacom? Isn't Viacom on yeah, MTV? No idea. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just, well, they're I'm all owned smart. by CBS or Paramount or something now, I think. So. Yeah. They're all under the same umbrella. It's been like, it's been like 20 years since Antonio Banderas, I think, played Puss in, Puss in Boots and the original Shrek um, that he that he made his debut in, whatever. So, I'm shocked that they're still like pushing that character. <laughs> no one has any no, yeah, thoughts yeah. in media anymore. Yeah. Um, I, I could huh? be wrong. I, I mean, it's just an old property. Like we're just we're just digging at nothing at this point. Like think of something original, people. Like we're yeah. we're doing something original right here. Talk and talk to Applebee's or something uh, or Burt King. Hey, if they gotta if they gotta push dumb movies to make money to stay on air, of course, fine, of course. do it. They're as long as they, as long as they don't get canceled, because if they get canceled, I'm gonna miss miss out on one of my favorite shows. I think somebody would have it, to it's die. It's funny though because like nobody goes to see movies anymore, so it's just like it's like a surprise that like they're I, really pushing. To... I, say, I just went and saw the new Avatar. No, man. no, no. I'm more saying like they're <laughs> they're pushing an audience of adults. To go see like a kid's movie. That's true. I think the yeah, the the market they were targeting. That's what I'm saying. Off. Yeah. That, it, that, that's wrong. true. Like they should have done this on Challenge USA. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that makes more sense. Yeah. They should have just done it on a kid's TV show. Exactly. The kid the challenge for kids is just kids doing these tasks. <laughs> yeah. Saying nobody <laughs> wants to move wrong term. But it was nobody nobody that was like a fan of Shrek and stuff is going to see put some puzzle boots and maybe, maybe Jordan. Yeah, oh, Jordan, or, Jordan, or, Jordan, Jordan loves Shrek. I, I, I love how Jordan didn't even say he loved puss and boots. He just said he loved Shrek. He loves Shrek. And, oh, and then the the cat was the athletic one. So let's let's <laughs> with that. Yeah, that makes you think. Like, is that planted? Like, did a producer tell him to say that? It just. <laughs> Because anytime they do these well, ads, like somebody's planned, really were, into it. You know, whether they were fed something to say or they just yeah. thought of it on their own, they all clearly had some some crap to say about it. And then with the pictures of the cats, I feel like they all had a picture with the same cat. I think I think um, there's like a little like hairless black cat. I think it's Tori's, and like five people had a picture with it. Oh, when they did like this house loved cats. Yeah, I don't like cats. I'm allergic to cats. I don't like them. I'm not trying to get canceled, so I mean, I have a legit reason to not like them. They mess up my eyes. Yeah, I'm allergic to cats too, so whatever. It's, you know. my okay, mom, my, my mom has cats, but they're fine. Plus, none of them even wear boots. All right, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, th this deliberation that we had, I kind of want to get your guys' thoughts on like how they're doing it. Like, well, they're like, every, Tori. Well, let me say this real quick. I fucking hate Tori. More and more every single episode. I cannot stand her. No, I know you guys love her. You think she's hot? No, no. She dude. sucks. I cannot stand her, Brett. That's I know you do. Behind you on that. I every time I just every time she sulks, I keep going. How do we forget how much of a slut she has been <laughs> in these previous seasons? Like, I don't know how MTV has like portrayed her in this way. That like she is has not one cheated on every single dude that she's on any show that she's been a part of of MTV. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> and then and then she's sitting like, oh wait, Jordan broke up with me, so I hooked up with Fessy immediately. And then I, well, it was an accident, so let's let's now feel bad. Let's make it look like we should feel bad for her. No, no. Brett, defend your no. girl. Absolutely I'm not, not. I thought I'm, you liked her. I mean, I like her. She's entertaining. I like her as a character and stuff. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm tired of her draw. I don't feel bad for her at all in this Jordan situation because they're not together and oh. Jordan can they're do it. They're both dumb. Let's, let's both lead off. They're both very dumb for doing what they're doing. Yes. You can't get divorced or whatever they're and then lay in bed and cuddle on a TV show and think it's going to be good. Unless I mean, they can do whatever together. they want. I mean, or you uh, could. Like, it's not like he's they, Okay, great. But I don't want to hear about it. Right. 
Well, see, yeah, I don't. Feel, I don't feel bad for her. At I don't want to hear her no. confessionals anymore. It's like I'm so pissed off in the room. It's like I don't care about this. You like, don't I, I her want her to get eliminated team. like ASAP. She needs to go. One of them needs to go. Both of them. <laughs> Either that, or they need to focus more on. I want to see Jordan living like within the group and more. Like, like, like we've heard nothing about bananas and his girl. We've heard nothing about any other random hookups. Like they used to do, you know what I mean? Just don't I make mean, like the no, token. We, we hear a little bit about Nelson and Olivia and crap like that. So yeah, Nelson Bananas, like, Bananas really doesn't come on to hook up anymore. I mean, he, he hooks up a lot outside of the show, um, with with girls. He literally stuff. found a rookie girl this year and has been hooking up with her the whole time. Which one? Yes? Uh, yeah. Mariah. Mariah. Did they just don't air it? Yeah, that, that, oh, the, the, actually, funny. it's gotten to the point where they'll show them just like couple kissing before mm-hmm. like a, a random oh, I never noticed. I never I, noticed. I that's what I'm, that's, like, that's exactly my point. Like like you they've they're focusing on this. But that's like there's a lot terrible. of other like weird shit that's going on that they could be focusing on. And they want nobody gives a shit about this couple. I think people one, do I, I think we're the minority. I <laughs> don't I think people actually care because they like her. I think people care and they feel sorry for her and feel like Jordan is a bad guy. Which yeah, I don't agree. I, I, I agree. I think this I we're in the minority. Bad guy at all in this. You probably hey, last last time we were in the minority, we uh, predicted the winner of Survivor. So that's right. true. That's true. But that also Very being true. said, like I, we've been bitching about, like we need more, like camp life. I guess would be the best in this scenario, uh, and. This is the only one we're focusing on, so I, I guess it makes us it makes it do like like team A, team B, like who's on on her side, who's on his side, versus like if it was all spread about, and he, like opinions aren't really you know. Yeah, I, I mean, don't... Kev, I agree with you, but maybe they're just not. It's just not interesting. It's also that's like could be like the case. Like it's just like right. okay, we're hooking up. This isn't interesting. I I I, I agree with you, so, but like so like yeah. There's no if no if there's no drama of Johnny kissing Mariah behind closed doors and it doesn't matter, they're gonna show this bullshit. Yeah. And just what I was leading to with that because I was thinking about it, is when they're like going in the deliberations, she's like, "You, I will vote for anybody but Devin." And it's like obviously, obviously, this is like why they did the team split thing. Like it's gonna cause these rifts of people. But I'll, like, I'll also put it this way: like, how much? When was the last time you saw Nani? And Casey on the same screen. This episode. Yeah. Other, I mean, like, but like. I mean, Casey talking. says, "My girlfriend, my girlfriend." Yeah, they talk about each other. Yeah, Casey's Nani, been quiet the entire Casey's season up on. until this episode. Yeah, Nani's like, I, I am so proud of Casey. Always so proud of Casey, and Nani, she's Casey. another one that I, I could do I without not, seeing. More. I forgot who Casey's partner was. When he got selected, I'm not. I'm not even. Kidding, he, but... he got a lot of airtime this episode. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah right. because spoiler alert, he gets eliminated. Um, but uh, yeah, if he because he just he doesn't. He's not a. He's not a personality. He's just a brother of a contestant, so he doesn't find out how to. He's probably a normal person. Yeah, I was wondering too. So, um, if basically if they ran the final team versus team, and Casey's on a team opposite her girlfriend and her brother because they both made it to the final. Do you think she would somehow like try to throw the final so that they both win? Yes, because she's won, and Nani that, hasn't and won that, ever. That, and Nani already threw whatever that like. I mean, she wasn't going to win that challenge last time oh, yeah. where it was yeah. between. So I can see totally trying to and trying to think yeah. that like, oh, this is my time to pay him back. But end of the day, I don't think she could get away with it. I did. Yeah, that's just a thought I had. So what I was she'd trying to go, Fessy huh? and her. she'd rely on Fessy and her or some shit. Fessy, what do you mean? Didn't Fessy like and when her and Fessy were partners Fessy, last time? She, she got, got hurt. hurt. She got hurt, and then oh, Fessy she, just quit. Like he's like, I'm not eating. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I take the line. Yeah. Sorry. That's a throwback. Honestly, I feel like when the eating thing happened, whatever, whatever played out, I feel like I defended um, Fessy, Fessy not eating. Like I, I felt like he, he wasn't technically quitting; he just wanted to take the penalty or something. I don't remember. Yeah, he just but handled I, it like a, he just handled it like a bitch. This was a problem. I don't like eating either, so I I did. I was on his side for whatever it was. 
Well, I think the issue was, was Casey a, was hurt and still eating, and he wouldn't. So everybody be different if she wasn't at the my table big eating. brother Brett. Oh, I think he, he knew he was gonna lose because her leg was broken. Exactly. And and he's like, well, I might as well just not eat it because we're gonna lose. Which I mean, that makes sense. If I'm gonna lose, why am I gonna eat the damn food? Fair. <laughs> I mean, you Fair. can justify how much of a pussy that fucking Fessy is, but. But a puss in boots. I'm saying the issue was is that Casey was had her leg like broken and she was still eating and he right, was right. standing there like I'm not eating. So it just yeah we, we don't need to we every, everybody that's watching knows we hate him so we don't need to talk about him anymore. He's a he's a perennial loser. So that's just the way it yeah, is. Yeah, but he this like episode really is just hating on Tori and Fessy. I mean they I, I can't stand him personally. They they're, they're terrible characters. But I, what I was trying to get at is like, what? How do you think that eventually, as teams windled like whittle down, and they're like, well, I don't we, like the voting of the partners on the other team. That's going to cause a rift in probably what, like three episodes when like the vote actually matters. I I personally hope that it just goes to single. I I, I like it when one person wins the money. Straight up. Well, I'm talking about right now, where like when you win a team, like Fessy team versus Mariah team, and they're we could have four, yeah, we could have four episodes where no one technically goes home because you could have one person from a ride or die go home in four episodes. Um, so you could have, yeah, so you could have oh, four yeah. people in there where their ride or die is still in the game, so all of them are still in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, until the final. Um, basically, if if like this episode. Kenny got eliminated. Um, and if Casey makes it to the final, then I think they're going to bring back Kenny and surprise her and say, you, you're running the final together. If Casey gets eliminated before the final, then they're both done. Yeah, they're dead. Right. That's so exactly. we, we need oh, Casey. That makes no sense, man. We need Casey to go home think, next week. That's the theory. theory. I, I get I know if she goes home, then we know they're both gone. We need, I mean, well, we need yeah. to see the sacrifice. We need it. We can't have these eliminations that don't mean anything for weeks. Then I'm gonna start hating the season. <laughs> we'll see how right. it works. <laughs> but we're gonna end up in a position where, like, so say Nani goes home uh, next week, and then the following week Devin goes home, and then the following week, uh, yeah, it's I, I, that's uh, probably what's gonna happen. Dude, this is what uh, Anissa goes happen. home. Then you have four people that just are sitting all- on the bench. Yeah, it's dumb. And then their partners. Well, play. no, this is what's gonna happen. That is gonna be a a, th- a three person team going. It's gonna be four on four on four, and like the outcasts will all be a team. The original pick for each side will be a team. Well, if all the if, if the nah, Bible, I agree with Waleed here. Yeah, I think well, we're, we're on episode ten. How many episodes of these seasons usually? Like a thousand. Well, you just said that there's gonna be two more, uh, three more votes a vote out. No, I, I, no, I was using it as an example. Like, how long until like? Because on the deliberation. Everyone's like, well, I don't want you to vote for Kenny. I don't want you to vote for Devin. When are we going to get to the point where people are going to start backstabbing each other because there's they need to pick a person and it's actually going to – like Kenny was a throwaway. Oh, 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 I get what you're saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows Kenny's going home. Even if he wasn't eliminated, like right, where every somebody person, Devin's better than him, Jordan's better than him, Horatio's better than him. He's not winning. Um, well, the, the next, the next guy's elimination, either next for that team or the next hey, guy's gonna, elimination. Yeah. No, because in the guy's time. elimination, I mean, you only have those three guys left: Devin, Horatio, Jordan, and on the other side, who you got? You got Bananas, Fessy, Nelson, and Chauncey. I right, so Chauncey would probably be their throwaway vote. Yeah, right. But they might also just turn on each other because yeah. Fessy might do some shit where he's like, yep, he's definitely gonna do some shit. He's gonna, like he's gonna he's gonna match up against Chauncey, hundred yeah, percent. Well, I feel like I yeah. Not no, a spoiler, no. but I guess I feel like I heard uh, Nelson and uh, Fessy might be going head to head at some point in a elimination. Good, it'd be revenge for hopefully revenge for Nelly. But for this to work out, the other team, Mariah's team, has to win some daily challenges. Yes, yeah. parody right. to be, for there to be some parody and for there to be some you know like threat of like two rider dies from like the same you know team going home eventually you know so they need there needs to be there needs to be a victory on the other side if if fessy's team keeps on winning then you're just gonna have people on the bench the entire time yeah so it's gonna be so be- boring and I, i'm ready for the daggers to go i i still am a believer that it's there's a lot of producer manipula- manipulation yeah, i hate i hate this daggers thing man this thing like I don't like it there's too much room for like hey devin you go first yeah and then devin pulls right. the safe dagger like i mean 
people can't be this lucky that they're pulling it on their first try. Like it's, they need to do something where they have to like draw numbers out of a bag. And then, yeah, I agree. Like, yes. Yeah. It, it needs to, to like, be like shaken up them. or they need to spin a wheel or something or yeah, something like that. I need more randomness. I don't buy this at all. Yeah. Does, do you guys agree? Wally, Kevin, are you thinking any nefarious things or no? You're just no, I, I was more wrapping my head around what you were saying. But yes, we've said this. But I was on. We're, um, we're just gonna mistrust this random wheel of whatever too, so it doesn't really matter. I was listening to uh, Jay, who got eliminated with Michelle. Um, he had like some live chat thing, and I just went in there and asked a question. Do you think that producers told Bananas and Ani what the daggers were? He's like, No, nah, I don't think so. Bullshit. Who said that? Uh, Jay, the guy that was with Michelle, Survivor Jay. Yeah, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that at all. Because they got pulled this twice, right? Yeah. 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 They went first twice and pulled it twice. And then now Devin, I mean, he I don't think he has as many favors, but still, like, he goes first and pulls it. Like, come on. Yeah, I mean, Devin, his response, too, was like, oh, when, when TJ asked him, he's like, I knew from yesterday night that I was yeah. pulling. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's like an add-on. They should have like, let – yeah, he knew, yeah, because they told him. Yeah, that, that, that like, like, I'm going to really, like – yeah, I think Bill alluded to this leather like some other time. It's like the Patrick Ewing envelope, like the one dagger that's good is cold. Like you can see the steep, like, oh, pick this one. Ah, okay, this is it. I think I think the person going to elimination should say the order of the dagger pulls. Yeah, something that would like yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be cool. more like variables to make me believe that it's not fixed. Or just get rid of this stupid last person that loses goes in, like the worst time. Like I don't like there's just too much manipulation that to my for me to believe that this is like just no chances had here. Yeah. Let us know, challenge. Challenge fandoms. And you that's okay. All right. The chat the elimination. So Brett, you didn't like it? No, not really. I mean, probably because I mean I don't like when they don't really do physical stuff. This wasn't physical, this wasn't even really a puzzle. It was just, you know, like break a wall what was it? Draw a wall, and then do some screws and bolts it was they had yeah would you okay i was thinking of a modification of this brett would you have liked it better yeah. if every tool would have worked for every segment but like one was superior to the other so you if you pick the wrong one you have like you're in a disadvantage like yeah like okay you, yeah, 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 so yeah. you remember when yeah, he picked up the bolt he didn't yeah. pick up the bolt cutters or something and then he picked up the axe like what if he had to break those locks with the axe like it would work but eventually he'd have to use the bolt cutters to break something else like it was completely different would you've liked that better i mean i don't know i would have had to seen it but i mean at least with this one that it was you had to at least pay attention to what was in the next room and go mm -hmm. grab the proper tool which is what kenny almost messed up on yeah. So you got to have to, I guess, use your brain of like, what am I looking at mm -hmm. and go back and like, what here can I use? So, yeah. I mean, it wasn't too hard to figure that out, but you had to at least pay a little bit of attention. I thought at one point it was the one that was similar to the all-stars where they had to break stuff in the room and fit it through the little hole. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. Did you like that one, Brett? Um, yeah, I like that one. That one's, okay. that one's I thought that one was probably one of the coolest eliminations ever. In my opinion, yeah. I thought it was really sweet. Yeah, they had to break a bunch of stuff and then get it and out just, of the room. Yeah, room. fit it through that yeah. tiny hole and get like a pound That one was, yeah. was really I, – and I thought it was like super original. I thought it was cool. And I thought that's where this was going. And then it's just like you just got to like punch through a wall and then just like un use a Phillips head or flathead to get <laughs> screws on loose. Yeah. I like the I, I know I like the one too um, where they have like ropes in a cage and they have to like go wind it up and then they switch and they have to like solve each other's rope. Yeah, that's like Survivor. They they definitely took that from Survivor. Mm -hmm. Or Survivor took it from them. I don't think I don't think Survivor's done that per se. Yeah, they do that one where you got to like weave through stuff and then like the other team has to get through it or you put the sticks in. They do. Stuff oh yeah, like okay, yeah, they have done that. Similar. Thing. But I do agree the rope one is cool, especially when you do the team version, which they added when they have like a team elimination like they did in All Stars. Yeah. I mean, but, although my favorite eliminations are always going to be like physical ones where they actually have to put their hands on each other in some way to do something. Like Brad, balls. We, Brad, we know. Pull, pull <laughs> we know. Turn alpha, I now watch these <laughs> episodes <laughs> through a lens. Like, is Brett going to like this or not? Like, I know when you're going to like something now. <laughs> yeah, but, plenty of episodes with you at this point. This elimination could have been better if uh, at the end it was a hall brawl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They had, they had to run through the walls and then run it into each other. They had to find a gun. 
<laughs> where he's still like unscrewing the locks and yeah, yeah. Horatio just busts just through a wooden panel and knocks boom, him out. Like, you would have liked that a lot better. <laughs> just blindsides him. Yes. Double tap, back of the head. Yeah. Dodge this. <laughs> so yeah. um, Horatio beats Too Kenny. Too slow, bitches. Nobody, no one ever thought Kenny was going to win it. I, I really think it was editing, the way they edited it, that they made him look like Kenny was coming back. I don't think he was that close. Uh, no, I didn't think he was close at all. I mean, they, they made it seem that way, but you knew Horacio was ahead. Yeah, I just don't, yeah, they, they, I don't uh, believe anything uh, I'm seeing. When the elimination started, Horacio's like, yeah, my dad had a construction company. Yeah. used to work with him and do use all these tools, like, growing up. And it's mm-hmm. like, all right, so that's your fourth elimination win. <laughs> it's like yeah. the MVP yeah. of the season so far. It's four elimination wins. Yeah, and I don't like. I personally do not like Horacio. Why? He's a good looking man. He's, he's like first, one of my favorite I, people I, on the cast. Yeah, he's a good looking. Second dude. of all, I don't like. I don't like how he portrays himself as a professional soccer player, and then oh, yeah, I like, look up his stats, and he's fuck. He's like at the level of the Harrisburg fucking City Islanders, <laughs> making forty bucks a year. Like. <laughs> mm, I mean, this episode, he said he was a professional handyman or an electrician or something. Man of many right. types. I would yeah. respect more. All the girls <laughs> love him. Uh, the only <laughs> knock I have on him doesn't is... doesn't mean fucking shit. The way he handled losing last week, I thought was pretty soft. Right, right. And he, and he seriously went back to like, oh, I'm like a sore loser ever since I was like, now, nah, dude, you're, you're a bit. Mm. Sounds like a soccer player. <laughs> exactly. The ones that I fucking hate. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. You and I grew up. Oh, I know all about those people. Yeah, <laughs> we do. Uh, that's a dude. That's basically all right. You get it. That's oh, basically. I know blank, exactly what what player he is on the other team that I fucking hated. Hey, it's gamesmanship, guys. The striker. <laughs> he's usually, he, he, sound, he has a striker right. mentality. Yeah, I, I rewinded. Uh, I thought he almost died this episode, or could have almost died because there was at one point where he fell when he was running with the axe. And we got up. He was holding it like the blade was facing him. So like and it just made me think of like I feel like in a in like where the red fern grows or something. Some dude falls on an axe and dies. Is that and hatchet? Like, that I was like, one, where's Brock? He almost killed himself. Grows, and that was amazing. Was that oh, hatchet yeah, that happened? In? Huh? Yeah, it was. Hatchet? Or no, no, it was. Uh... Lord maybe, of the Flies. Maybe it was. Maybe it was with the book. Wait, we need to talk about Nani like being medevaced. Oh. oh. <laughs> nah, she's yeah, fine. She's <laughs> milking it. All uh, right, yo, I thought I was surprised she came back with no concussion. She looked like she almost died. <laughs> yeah, she looked like she was having a seizure. Yeah, she was. Well, then she and just like, was cold. Yeah, she got me done for the season. Like they, she might not come back if she has a concussion. She came back in one piece, like twenty four hours later. Yeah, she what reminded me of like in a cartoon when you hit the like a like a Wally Coyote falls from and he just turns into a puddle on the ground. You know. <laughs> like when they fall from long distances, it's just a puddle. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. Uh, that was a high fall though on that channel. On the daily challenge, they were really high up. So that's a lot. Yeah, and if you if you fall awkwardly, well, it's like that when that girl's boob exploded from the thing. Uh, <laughs> that was yeah, my first. Yeah, I remember that on, on the, uh, ruin, the ruin season. I remember that. Yeah, God. yeah. It was like that. Everybody. Like, was I think I popped my. Impact. I think she went home too after that. I think she gave I, up. Well, I think, I think you can get. Oh, she, she didn't. died from. Yeah, well, you can get like poison. She, well, she ended up, she came back first and told everybody in the house, like, individually what happened. And they're all like, man, how many times can you tell the same story? And she ended up telling them that you're, that you're fucking I've in. been like, oh, no way. Let me see. I don't believe you. <laughs> well, no, I don't want to see that. Like, your implant popped. We get it. Go home. <laughs> uh, do you guys have anything? First place. Do you have anything to say about this episode before we get out of here? I was going to say when Nani fell, uh, she like fell on her head. So this happened to, I think it was uh, Pauly in another season where he he dove head first into the water and they're wearing helmets. So you got to think like if you go head first into the water with a helmet on, that's going to mess with it's you. It's got to hurt even with panic. You're not going to. Well, actually, no, I think the water. A, big, a big issue is with that is they're wearing the life vest. So like if they land, if they land feet first, the life vest fucks them up because it like. If it's not snug to your body, it's going up and fucking your face up. You know what I mean? I think that's been like a major issue in the past. I don't think so. I've jumped in the water with a life vest on before. <laughs> and no, no that happened with uh... get fucked up. All right, fine. Anything else before we get out of here? 
to. I've never jumped anywhere with a life vest on. I'm not some pussy. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we had Survivor Finale this week, so definitely check that out because we were alluding to the winner for many weeks now um, compared to everyone else thinking that person had no chance. Um, we have uh, Love and Hip Hop. We have Blow Deck. We have a couple new shows coming out that we're going to test in the end of December and January. But uh, for now, thank you for watching and see you guys next week.